I'm a seafood junkie. <laughs> I love the Bayou Classic Pull Boy that's oysters and shrimp and that filet gumbo. Make your tongue slap your face on both sides. <laughs> How are we going to be different? That's the question I pose to the family. We're not going to cook with any beef or pork. We're going to make it affordable. We're going to give people, first of all, good service. So when people come into our establishment, you are not a customer, you are a guest. And once you become a guest and dine with us, then you're going to walk out as family. Our mission to really invest in the communities we serve and help lift up those communities is, is really at the foundation of, of who we are. If small business does well, the entire community does well, the entire community thrives, there's jobs, those revenues are reinvested in the community and then ultimately we impact those upstream determinants of health. We were in Marina del Rey for 16 years. We had an amazing clientele of people. And when the landlord went up on the rent on us, we could not pull the trigger on that amount. Folks don't realize in terms of when it comes to financing a business such as ours, being a first generation family business, always been undercapitalized. You know, finance is like oxygen to us. <laughs> if you don't have it, you will die. And so our situation is the fact that we have taken family savings, we have mortgage, we have done everything possible to keep this dream going. It's a miracle that we open the doors here. The Initiative for a Competitive Inner City is a nonprofit tax exempt organization based in Boston. Their mission is to promote economic development in inner cities in economically challenged areas. They're an organization then that specializes in working with small businesses to increase their capacity to grow because those small businesses are really the engine of economic prosperity locally. So when the Initiative for Competitive Inner City came to us, presenting us with this opportunity to be involved in the Inner City Capital Connections Program, we jumped at it. It still takes marketing dollars. It still takes advertising dollars. It's very challenging to get financing, and so you really have to play this, this game of being persistent, you have to be creative, and not only that too, you have to believe in what you're doing. Now we're looking at sort of a collective investment in the social capital of our communities and really seeing the connection between local economic growth and prosperity and improving the health of our communities. When I took ICC, it gave me an opportunity to see all these folks with a wealth of knowledge, these professors, these business owners, all under one roof for an entire day, answering questions, fielding questions, and allowing you to be able to interact with them, and not only that, giving you a lifeline. And when small businesses like Uncle Darrell's Catering do well, then all boats rise and the entire community is thriving and the local economy is solid, then when people are doing well, it, it totally impacts upstream determinants of health. If we can show that there is a way to do your work well, but also to confer some value and some benefit to the community, then we can really see all of ourselves as producers of health. That's what we're trying to do. We want to become something of a, of a legend wherever we go. We want to be able to say, man, we're so happy that Daryl's New Orleans Grill, or Uncle Daryl's, was a part of our community. When people come up to us and say, you know something, I'm so happy you guys are here. It's much closer for me. We've been wanting something like this, and you guys make us so proud. That's what I want our legacy to be.